And welcome to some area work. And particularly today, we're going to do area of rectangles. A couple of bits on that. Um, I want you to do these sums first of all, though. There's your starter. Do these without a calculator, please. Now, you can use grid method, you can use column method. I personally will be showing you column method for, for one of them, but I don't mind which method you use. Uh, I'll just show you the answers when we're done. So, pause. I want you to do this on a piece of paper, please, and unpause when you're done. Okay, we've unpaused. So if I was calculating this top one, well, I would first of all do eight times seven. Oh, it's my nemesis, isn't it? I have to go seven sevens of 49, eight sevens of 56. 56, right, so we put the six in the units column and I carry the five across to the next column. Just put a little number under there. And then I'll do eight times nine. Uh, nine eights are 72. Add the five and we get 77. So the seven goes across in the next column. And as it says over here, the first answer is 776. Okay, All right, so then 434, 720, 189, 288, and 300. Okay, hopefully you got those okay. Let's move on. All right, first question is, what is area? What do we actually mean by area? Have you got any thoughts? What do you think? If you had to put it into a sentence, what would you say it was? Well, I would say it was the space inside a 2D shape, a two-dimensional shape. So something that's got breadth and, and width, something that's basically a flat shape, like you know, a picture in a book or something. And the area is how much space it's taking up on that page. Or if I put my phone down on the, the table, how much of the table is take, taken up by my phone? You know, how much space? Um, let's look at this little square. Now, let's say this little square has sides which are one centimetre. So all four sides are the same. This side is one centimetre and that side is one centimetre. Well, in that case, this is one centimetre squared. Quite literally, a one square centimetre. You know? Now, the units are one centimetre squared because it's area. Okay, So area units are always going to be squared because it's to do with, like in this case, you know, if something's 15 centimeters squared, it's taking up as much space as 15 of these would take. And so let's build up a little shape using some of these. Well, what's the area of this shape? Well, it's one centimeter squared, right? What's the area now? Two centimeters squared, then three centimeters, then altogether this is four centimeters squared. Let's add some more. Let's put some more rows in. Okay, well, how many have I got now? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 square centimetres or centimetres squared. Yeah? Uh, let's do another shape. So there's another one. So it's 1 centimetre squared, 2 centimetres squared, 3 centimetres, 4, 5, 6 square centimetres. Uh, oh, another row. So that's going to be another 6. That's 12. Another row, that's 18. And another row, that's a total of 24 of my little squares. So it's 24 square centimetres. Now, that's all very well if you know, you know how many of these little squares fit into your shape. But we need another method for working out, say, the area of, in this case, rectangles, right? So let's look at the length of this side. Well, each one of these little squares is one centimetre. So this side is four centimeters. And this side over here is made up of three of those little squares. So that's three centimeters. Well, how can I get 12 using the numbers four and three? Yeah, you're probably way ahead of me already, but let's just write this one over here as well. So how long is this side? Well, there are six squares along there. So that's six centimeters in all. Not centimeters squared, it's just a length, isn't it? So it's six centimeters. What about this side? Well, there's four of them. So that's four centimetres. Well, how can I get 24 using the six and the four? Well, it's the same method for both, because actually we find the length times by the width. So this first one, I would do the length of four times by the width of three, and that would equal 12. That's where my 12 comes from. This one over here would be six times by the four, which is 24 centimetres squared. Length times width. What we're doing is taking one length which goes all the way along the side of one rectangle and the other length 
which goes off in the other direction. We need an L shape. If you're finding the area of a rectangle, you need an L shape. You need those two sides. Now, it could be the L shape that's on the, these two edges up here. But in this case, I've got these two. But it needs to be an L shape and needs to be have a little right angle in the corner, just like a rectangle does. Yeah. So this one over here, I took the length. I took the width. They're both at an L shape. Uh, you know, they make a rectangle. I, uh, Sorry, right angle in the corner. I times those together. So if you times the length by the width, you get the area. And the length, you know, we'd say is usually the bottom edge and the width is a side. You could have it the other way around. It will still give the same answer. Yeah. Let's try a couple or three. So what's the area of this one? Well, the length is 10. The width is 3. So multiply those together. 10 threes are 30. But what are my units? They are centimeters squared because there are 30 little square centimeters in there. Uh, this one was the length of 10 again. A width of 5, multiply the length by the width to get 50 centimetres squared. Uh, what about this rectangle over here? I've got a width of 2, a length of 6, or whichever way round. 2 times 6 is 12 centimetres squared. Yeah, so just times the length by the width. Okay, off you go. Don't forget your units. Pause the video, find the four answers. Unpause when you're done. Okay, we have unpaused. Let's do this. So first of all, I've got length of five, width of three. Five times three is 15 centimeters squared. Don't forget your units. Okay, length of two, width of, no, length of eight, width of two, times them together, basically length times width, is 16 centimeter squared, four times by 0 0.5. Oh, there's a decimal, but that doesn't matter. And if you're really not sure, you could use your calculator, but the answer is two centimeter squared. In fact, if you want to use a calculator for these, do feel free to do so from now on. Uh, length of six or width of six, it doesn't matter really, as long as your two sides are making that L shape down two sides of your rectangle. And then it basically you find the area of everything in between well, 6 times 4.5 is, oh, is it? I think it's 27, but let's try it. 6 by 4.5, 27. Yeah, awesome. Why am I still writing 4.5, though? I don't know why I'm writing 4.5. Maybe I need a coffee. Who knows? Probably not. So 27 centimeters squared. There we go. Okay, right, happy. So let's make it a bit trickier. What about if I know the area on one side, but I want to find the other side. Well, let's think of what... No, let's try that whole, whole sentence. How did I find the area in the first place? Well, area is length times by width. So I would have done one side, that's 9, times by the other side. Now, I don't know the other side, that's x. And I got the answer of 58.5. Well, how could I rearrange this a little bit? To find the missing side. Well, this times by 9 is 58.5. If I want to find the missing side, what I need to do is divide. So if I divide it by the side, I'm left with whatever this side must be. Now, 58.5 divided by 9 is 6.5. That sounds about reasonable. And this is centimetres. Remember, I'm not finding an area here. I'm finding a length. So if you're finding the missing length, you divide instead. Take the area and divide it by one side and you get the other. 6.5. Next. 36.4 centimetres squared is my area. And one side is 7. But what about the other side? Now, how long is this side? Well, take your area. 36.4. And divide it. I'm going to use divide sign this time because it means the same thing, doesn't it? Fraction line or a divide sign means the same thing. 36.4 divided by the 7, and I get 5.2. That sounds reasonable as well. So 5.2. And lastly, third question. Okay, so I've got 93.5, and I've got one of the sides but not the other. Well, let's divide it. And again, I'm going to use the fraction sign this time. But what I'm doing each time is dividing. Every time we're just dividing. Just written it in different ways. 
And this time the answer is 11 centimeters. So this side is 11 centimeters, right? So if you know the area on one side, well, you can divide to find the other one. Yeah, okay, great. Have a go, there's four questions for you. Pause and then uh, unpause when you're done. Okay, I've unpaused, but have you done your working out? Have you written it down? Have you just done it in your head? Have you just written an answer? Because I will not be happy. Mr. Nice will not be happy with that. So I've paused again. Go back and do your working out. Unless you've already done it, in which case, let's just go straight on. 27 centimetres squared is the area. One side is nine. Now, if I divide that, divide the area by the side, I'm left with what the other side must be. And in this case, it must be three centimetres. This time the area is 30. Let's divide it by the side that I know, which is five. The missing side must be six centimeters. And then the area is 12. Divide it by the side you know, which is 1.5 centimeters. And lastly, 20 is the area. Divide it by the side you know. You must be left with the one that you don't know. So 20 divided by 2.5 is eight centimeters. Ah, you guys. Well done. That's it, that's it for today. Oh no, it's not. No, no, it's not. Ha ha, tricks you. No, we've got a problem question here. Now I'm just gonna give, tell you what one word in here means. Congruent means identical, especially in maths when we're talking about um, shapes. So the square above, this big whole square, is shown has an area of 144 centimeters squared. Oops, that's a square. It is made from congruent, so identical regular tiles. All of these rectangles are the same. Find the dimensions of a tile. I want you to puzzle over this one a little bit. If the whole area is 144, what's one rectangle? <laughs> But I want to find the dimensions. I want to find the side lengths of each rectangle. I want to find the length and the width. And it is possible. So have a go. At least find out what one rectangle is. Then try and find out what the dimensions are. Off you go. <coughs> okay, well, the place you want to start with this one is how many rectangles are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rectangles. So all of them are the same. So we can share all of the area amongst the eight rectangles to find out what one is. Now one rectangle is 18 centimeters squared. Okay, so 18 centimeters squared. Now he's thinking, well, how do I then find out the, the sides? Well, look at this, look, there's a width and there's another width but that's next to the length. So actually the width is half the length, or rather the length is double the width, isn't it? So if I've got my rectangle here, and let's say the width is x. Well, the length, you could split into two and go two x's, yeah? So, this side is the same as 2x, okay? Now, did you get as far as the area? Now, the area is the length times the width. So that's 2x times by x. Now, that's tricky. You might not have got this. It's a tricky problem, this one. 2x squared. So the area is 2x squared. Now, if at any point you think, oh, I think I might know how to do it now, pause it and... Uh, have a go. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going and telling you how to do it. Let's change colour for the last bit. Oh no, it won't let me change colour. Let's not change colour for the last bit, that'll be silly. Now the area is 2x squared, but I know that the area of one rectangle is 18. So let's solve it. Well, I don't want 2x squared, I only want one of them. So first of all, let's divide it by 2. Let's get 9. Now x squared is 9. Do you know what undoes a squaring? Well, that's the square root. But actually, all you really need is what number times by itself equals 9, because I've got something squared equals 9. Well, if I do the square root of 9, I find that number is 3. 
Okay, so x is 3 centimeters because 3 times 3 is 9, which means, back to my rectangle, the short side is 3 and the long side is double that, so it's 6. Okay, tricky problem. Now, if you got as far as the 18 centimeters squared, I'm happy with that. If you got any of this algebra, that's awesome. And if you did the whole thing, you should give yourself a massive pat on the back and be really smug. But don't worry if you didn't. I just wanted to chuck that problem in there today because the lesson was quite short. And so I thought it might be a bit of fun to try something a bit different. Anyway, I shall see you next time. Bye bye.